The Sound of the Sundial is first and foremost a beautiful love story. It's a romance between a Czechoslovak German named Thomas and his Jewish wife, Rachel. It's told through the eyes of their son, Daniel, and the book takes you on a unique journey through 1930s Czechoslovakia, colonial India, and later to Nazi-occupied Prague, Theresienstadt, and Auschwitz. Hanna Andronikova carries on that Czech tradition of storytelling used by such writers as Arnoš Lustig, Milan Kundera, or Ivan Klima. But The Sound of the Sundial can also be easily paired with such novels as Hemingway's Farewell to the Arms or Pasternak's Dr. Zhivago, where the main characters struggle to preserve just a sliver of humanity by fighting for their right to simply love and exist with each other. On the way home, he couldn't dispel his fear. It wasn't Rachel he was afraid for. He knew that she would cope without him, but he didn't know how he would cope without her. She had dinner waiting. When do you leave? The day after tomorrow. And when will I see you? I'll send for you as soon as I can. I expect in about six months, if there are no setbacks. Six months. Half a year. Now that he had said it aloud, his heart sank. Six months? How innocent it sounded. Why was he feeling so wretched? I hope there won't be any setbacks. She half closed her eyes like a sorceress. There are bound to be setbacks. She nodded. The spangles on her earrings danced. She opened a box of matches. Fishing out one red-headed stick, she dashed it against the flint. It sparked into flame between her fingers. Flashes from the earrings entered his eyes and began to circulate in his bloodstream. She lit the candles on the table. In the glow of the flames, she looked like a goddess, a nymph. He could sense the molten wax against his skin. How could he leave her 